Dear Hillary Clinton, you have no idea who I am, but it's okay, because I hope for you to represent me one day as the President of the United States. I wanted this in 2008. Unfortunately, you got beat out by somebody. I did vote for him, and he's done an okay job. He's done the best he can, but not as good as I think you can, and as good as I'm sure you know you can. Problem is, you've been kind of playing this game, this dangling, is Hillary Clinton going to run for president game. You had a book, you needed to sell it, I get that part. And you're waiting maybe for the big grand finale of right after Thanksgiving. The problem is, everything that you're supposed to stand for and everything that I'm hoping you do still stand for, it gets muddled when you do things like that. You just come off looking like Christy and the pig thing, or the bridge thing. It's petty. It's dumb. There's a lot of hope riding on you. A lot. And a lot of people are hoping that you can change things. And now I know it looks really bad right now because the Democrats just got shellacked in the House. That happens, but the upside about that is that's two years. That is two years of you doing nothing but spewing all the beautiful knowledge you have. That's two years of that while the house completely crumbles under the weight of all those elephants. It's going to happen. And you need to start this show and you need to start giving people hope now. You need to be the Hillary Clinton that I was inspired by as a child in 1992 when I was in maybe second grade, I don't know, but I was inspired by you. So please, inspire me again. Don't play a game. Start right now. Let us know so we can start cheering right now and spread in the word right now. Peace. I love you. It's with all love and respect. Bye.